365 days, 365 messages God has in store for you in each day. Great is our God, written by Fernando Zavala. Come, join us. Let's see what God has in store for you. Hi, friend. We're so glad that you joined us today. It's February 14th, 2022. Today's devotional is titled, Is Love Blind? Join me for a word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. Thank you because you loved us so much that you sent your beloved Son to die for each of us. We ask that your Holy Spirit speaks to our hearts. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Our scripture reading for today is found in the first book of Corinthians, chapter 13, verse 1. And it says, Though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels, but have not loved, I have become sounding brass or a clanging cymbal. Is love blind? This was the question being discussed in a Sabbath school class at a church I attended precisely when Valentine's Day was being celebrated. After a few minutes of discussion, the conclusion was that blindness wasn't characteristic to love, but to passion. I agree. Let us remember that it was in an outburst of passion that Shechem raped Dina, Jacob's daughter. See Genesis 34. And it was also as a result of an uncontrolled passion that Amon, son of David, raped Tamar, his half-sister. 2 Samuel 13. Love, on the other hand, is not blind, quite the opposite, it sees just fine. It sees in its beloved what others do not. It sees qualities that easily go unnoticed by others. The reason why this happens is very well expressed by Jean Venier when he says that to love is to reveal to a person the beauty that is in their heart. That is, the beauty of the person is there, but it is the eyes of the one who loves that person that perceives it. Now, does this mean that we are blind to the flaws of the person we love? No. We know they have flaws because nobody's perfect. What happens is that we do not allow these flaws to prevent us from perceiving all the beauty that is in the heart of our loved one. To put it in plain and simple, who will be looking at flaws when there is too much virtue, so much kindness to see? And who is going to want to talk about one defect or another when this person has so many qualities? Today is a good day to thank God for our loved ones. It is also a good time to tell them how much we love them, how important they are in our lives. The latter is very important. It is not enough for us to perceive the beauty in their hearts. We must reveal it to them to let them know. Why should it be this way? Because as Ellen G. White rightly states, love cannot long exist without expression. The Adventist Home, chapter 16, page 107. Of course, tomorrow we can also tell them. But why leave for tomorrow what we can do today? Join me for a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, please give us eyes like those of the Lord Jesus, to see the good there is in the people around us, starting with our loved ones. Please give us kind words, words of encouragement, to let them just know how important they are to us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Our prayer is that God blesses you, that his love embraces you, and that his presence is with you throughout this day. We'll see you again soon.